So they have a Caesar uh, salad dressing recipe in here. It is one of the best things that I have ever tasted when it comes to salad dressings. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the Vegan Sexy Cool channel. I am Jackie Reed and I am your guide on how to eat good, look good, feel good, and do good all while being vegan. Today's video is all about my 12 months to vegan challenge and what we are doing for the month of April. Now, if you do not know anything about the 12 months to vegan challenge, don't worry. In the details below, I'm gonna link the YouTube video that I did about the challenge as well as the blog post that I wrote all about the challenge so you can get great detail about what it's all about. But right now, let me just tell you this. My 12 months to vegan challenge is one of the easiest ways to learn how to eat vegan. Typically when folks go vegan, they do what I did and they just go all in at once. You just give up everything. That's hard, but you don't have to do it that way. With the 12 Months to Vegan Challenge, month by month, you're taking certain items in your kitchen and switching them out for vegan things. So butter for the month of January. All we did was switch out the dairy butter in your refrigerator in the kitchen for vegan butter. How easy is that? So month by month, we're doing different items and then it gets more challenging as we go along. Like eventually we'll do cheese for the entire month. That's a big one for everybody. But then we'll also do chicken for the entire month. And then as we get towards the end of the year, right? For October, for example, the entire month we will focus on eating vegan for breakfast. November, it is eating vegan for lunch. And in December, it is eating vegan for dinner. And then the big challenge comes. In January of 2023. Every January is known as Veganuary. Together, we will eat vegan for the entire month of January. Everything for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But by then, you'll know what you're doing. Your brain will have clicked on how to eat vegan. You'll know your favorite things to eat vegan with various items that you've tried out over the year. So it will be so easy come January. You will know your way around the grocery store and you will know your way around the kitchen when it comes to eating vegan. All right, so that's the 12 months to vegan challenge. But as I said, you can read more in the links that I have uh, that I have provided for you. Now, let's talk about April. So for the month of April, we're talking about eggs, mayonnaise, sour cream, and salad dressing. How easy is that? You're not gonna have a tough time finding your favorite vegan versions of these items by the end of this month. And I'm gonna share my favorites with you throughout this video. So let's start with eggs. And if you are like me, I mean, I was a huge egg lover. So I thought it was gonna be really hard to find substitutes for that, but it is not. So I'm gonna share some of my favorites with you. First and foremost is something new on the market called Just Egg. So Just Egg is one of the most important things in my refrigerator when it comes to breakfast items. Although you can use it for other things aside from breakfast items. but. This stuff is just liquid gold. I have about three bottles in my refrigerator and it is in your refrigerated section in the grocery store near the eggs. And it is just like a bottle of, you know, if you cracked up a bunch of, a bunch of eggs and, and beat them in a bowl and then poured them into this, that's what this, it looks like. It's the consistency of that and when you pour it into a pan to scramble it or cook it however you want. It behaves, the consistency is just like an egg. You know how when you scramble eggs in a pan and you know as they cook, you just kind of push them with a fork or a spatula, you know, so the, so the runny part can get underneath and cook and so you push the part that's cooked already until it's all cooked and scrambled. This cooks just like that. It cooks just like that. So when I make a, you know, when I use my just egg and I'm making scrambled eggs, I'll chop up my garlic, my onions, my green pepper, mushrooms, whatever you want to put in there, a little olive oil in the pan first, put those vegetables and items in there, you know, let those things cook up a little bit, pour the just egg in, depending on if you're cooking for yourself or others, pour it in there and just start to scramble it up. You can also use this to make omelets, frittatas, so quiches, so many other things. It cooks so well. I love just egg. Now, 
You might be wondering, is this made out of soy? No, it is not. It is made out of something, a legume called the mung bean, which is really good for you. So there's, it's packed with protein, no cholesterol, so it's healthy for you. Yes, it's processed, but it is a great egg substitute. It's really good for you. And what I love about this company, on top of all the things that I just talked about, is that they are very environmentally friendly. Um, and so when you use a product like Just Egg instead of regular eggs, right, you're cutting down on factory farming. So there aren't, you know, fields of chicken or warehouses full of chickens, you know, in that whole factory farming thing. They're not taking up feed. They're not taking up water. It takes a lot of land and water to raise chickens, you know, for eggs and for chicken dishes. So you're really helping out the environment with a product like Just Egg and you're gonna get the flavor um, of those scrambled eggs and egg product, you know, egg items that you like. So it really is a great thing. So go to their website, or I'm gonna link it down below so you can read more about how they're helping the environment um, and just different recipes that you can use Just Egg for. Now, full disclosure, I do love Just Egg, but I do not work for them. I have done some work for them, but they are not sponsoring this video. I just love the product. I really, really do. I really love it. So if you're looking for something that is really close to, you know, an egg, egg yolk, then this is the way to go. Now, there are some other things out there. I have not tried them as far as egg substitutes, products that are made specifically to substitute eggs like a Just Egg, uh, but there are some others out there. I encourage you to try them and see what you like, but my favorite is Just Egg. You know what a lot of people will use, and you'll see this at a lot of restaurants, particularly vegan restaurants, they'll do a tofu scramble instead of an egg scramble, right? And what they do is they'll take some tofu and break it down into crumbs, and then they'll add, it's the spices that they add that really gives it that yellow flavor, like, or, or I'm sorry, yellow flavor, yellow color, uh, like nutritional yeast, paprika, cumin, and some other things that you add in there. And then I think a lot of people, not all, will add black salt, which you might think right off the bat, off the bat, well, that makes it taste like salt. No, black salt has this eggy taste to it, so a lot of people will add that to something like a tofu scramble to give it an eggy taste. I've had tofu scrambles. People will add all kinds of vegetables in there. They'll add vegan cheese, and it really is delicious if it is cooked right. I prefer just egg. I'm not crazy about a tofu scramble. I don't love it. Um, it. It's just not my jam. But I have had it before and it is, it's good, but it ain't my thing. But you might like it and a lot of people do. It is a very popular item on a lot of breakfast menus and it's really easy to make. It's really inexpensive to make. You know, people always think that, you know, oh, vegan food is so expensive. Well, listen. If you wanna make something that's inexpensive and you wanna try, you know, just a, a vegan version of eggs this month, give the tofu scramble a try. I think, you, you know, I, I'm curious to see if you like it and let me know down in the comments below.
So let's move on to mayonnaise. Let me tell you, you should already be doing this one. It is just so easy. They have figured it out. The folks who make mayonnaise or make vegan mayonnaise, it tastes just like dairy mayonnaise. It just does. It just makes no sense to do this one for this month and beyond. Just switch it out. Just switch it out. It just, it just it's so, it tastes like dairy mayonnaise. So let me tell you about a few of my favorites. I use follow your heart. I can't talk. I use follow your heart um, a lot of the time because it's in most grocery stores, but I also like Sir Kensington. It is actually one of my favorites. They make a regular vegan mayo and they also make one with avocado oil, which is my absolute favorite mayonnaise on the planet. This mayonnaise, this vegan mayonnaise is so delicious. Hunt it down, find it. It's usually at Whole Foods. Sometimes it might be at Trader Joe's. I'm not a Trader Joe's girl yet. I really gotta give it a try, but I'm not there yet. Um, but Sir Kensington. But make sure you read the label because that vegan uh, is written on there like a whisper. It's just vegan. And I have picked up regular mayonnaise at least twice thinking I was getting vegan mayonnaise. That avocado um, mayo, they make it in a regular version and a vegan version. You want to get the vegan version. Uh, but the way that they label them both is so similar, you can easily grab the wrong one. But I mean, I'm not even going to go on and on about mayo because, listen, it's just, it's just too easy. It's done. It tastes, it behaves like dairy mayonnaise so you should just go ahead and switch that out and just carry it on for the rest of the year don't even go back to it uh to the, your dairy mayonnaise in the month of may whether you're making what potato salad tuna you know whatever you're making you can use this uh vegan mayo or vegan mayo and it is going to work well and you won't know the difference your family won't know the difference. Your friends won't know the difference. If you're taking potato salad to the cookout, you know, this spring or summer, use vegan mayo. I'm telling you, no one will know the difference. <laughs> now, I also wanted to mention that Sir Kensington also has some special versions of mayonnaise that you might want to try. So they have a Chipotle one. I have not tried it, but I hear it's really good. And they also have a special sauce one, which I think probably mimics what goes on a Big Mac. You know that spe special sauce? Yeah, <laughs> you might wanna give that a try. I have not tried that either, but again, I've heard good things about that. And again, look for the word vegan on those labels. Let's talk sour cream, another one of my favorite condiments. This one is a little more tough. Now I have to be honest with you, the dairy version of sour cream and the vegan version of sour cream that you will buy at the grocery store, I have not found one yet that tastes exactly like a sour cream. But I have found some that are very flavorful and gives you a similar consistency. So you won't really miss it, but you will notice a difference. So let's just be honest, okay? So some brands that I have tried, uh, Tofuti is one that is definitely made out of soybeans. It's really delicious. I love it. I put it in my chili when I want sour cream. I put it on top of a taco or any Mexican food that I may have, and it it, it works. It works for me. Uh, Forager is another one. That one is a coconut base. It's really good. And I'm one when I take when I when when I try foods that have a coconut base, I don't like them to the coconut flavoring to be overpowering. This is not. Um, and the consistency, I love the consistency of this vegan sour cream. Now, Kite Hill also makes a vegan sour cream, but that is almond based. And I am allergic to almonds, so I don't mess with it. I haven't tasted it, so you know, do what you will with that. Sometimes, though, you know what works? Some um, plain vegan uh, yogurts out there can mimic a sour cream better than some of these uh, brands that I mentioned. So think about that too. If there's a vegan uh, yogurt brand that you like, they're the plain version and it really doesn't have any sweetness to it, try that uh, as your sour cream in different things. That might work really well. It has for me in the past. And last but not least, let's talk about salad dressings. 
This is another one that is really easy, but it really is based on your preference of what you like when it comes to salad dressings. For me, I'm a vinaigrette girl. I like something that has an oil and vinegar that's really light, not too heavy. I left creamy salad dressings long ago, long before I even uh, became vegan. Back in the day, I started one of my first favorites I can remember when I was very young, a teenager or younger, I used to love French dressing. And then I love blue cheese dressings. Um, but then, you know, when I became a young adult and for most of my life since then, I have loved lighter vinaigrette, vinegar, vinegary dressings. So when it comes to vegan salad dressings, that's where I lean. And honestly, I don't buy a lot of salad dressings because I make my own. Here's the base for what I make when it comes to the salad dressings that I like. I'll take a little olive oil, I'll take some vinegar, um, and then I'll add some fresh lemon juice. I'll blend that together. I may add some fresh garlic to it, you know, mince it up and some salt and pepper, um, and then that's it. I'll pour it on my salad and that does it for me. If I want a creamy version of that dressing, then I'll mash up an avocado and, and mix it up in there. Or I'll take a little vegan yogurt and mix it up there and you've got your creamy dressing. I mean, you can really start with that as a salad dressing base and go in so many different directions depending on what you add to it. But I have to tell you, I one of my absolute favorite vegan salad dressing recipes comes from this book, um, which is Vegan for Everybody from America's Test Kitchen. Let me tell you, they have, so they have this kale salad, uh, kale Caesar salad recipe in here. And I made the salad and I was like, you know, and even the croutons are vegan in here, FYI. This is a great book to get, um, a, a cookbook to get if you're just starting out vegan or if you've been vegan for a long time, great recipes. So they have a Caesar uh, salad dressing recipe in here. <laughs> it is one of the best things that I have ever tasted when it comes to salad dressings. Dairy salad dressings and vegan salad dressings, that salad, salad dressing recipe in here is the best. It's online, I'm gonna link it below so you can try it. It's a lot of ingredients, not too many, but you know, you know, there's capers, there's Dijon mustard, there's this, there's that. It is so worth it, it is so delicious. I, I can't, it blows my mind how delicious this is. I will make it and just put it in the fridge just at the off chance that I want a salad. It is so good. So I will link that for you, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so there it is for the month of April, what we are switching out when it comes to the 12 months to vegan challenge. And I hope if you are starting this for the first time that you don't feel overwhelmed. This is really easy. You just go to the grocery store, take that list um, that I gave you of items, look for vegan versions of those things. It's just four things, switch it out and give it a try for the month of April. And if you wanna try recipes online, you can definitely find, you know, Google it and see, you know, Google vegan salad dressings, dressings. Google vegan sour cream and you will find various recipes on how to make it on your own. It'll definitely save you some money and it'll take you some time, but it might be worth it. It's definitely worth it to try different things. And go to a vegan restaurant and try their salad dressings. Try their sal uh, sour cream, you know, try their egg dishes, you know, try their may mayonnaise, try different things, you know, just mix it up this month and try many different things so you can figure out what you like. That's what this challenge is all about. It's about challenging yourself to find what you like when it comes to eating vegan. Now, you can continue doing these things, the mayo, the eggs, the sour cream, the salad dressing on into the next month, or you can just do it this month and then when it comes to when we get into May, go back to eating your dairy versions of these things, but pick up what we're switching out for the month of May. That's how this works. I hope that as we're going along, if you've been doing this since January, that you will continue the things that you've switched out. Just continue with the mayo though. I mean, just come on, just keep doing the mayo. Don't, don't go back. That's just too easy. It's just too easy, but hopefully, this is going to help you 
gonna help your brain click when it comes to how to eat vegan and then you're gonna you're also learning what you like that's vegan that's the beauty of this challenge so hopefully you know you're on board and you're loving this all right well that does it for this video and hopefully you got all the tools you needed to have a successful month of April when it comes to my 12 months to vegan challenge. All right, let me get some plugs in. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment so I can know what you liked about this video and if you want to see more. If you wanna dig deeper and have some support through this vegan journey, then I have a Facebook group called the 12 Months to Vegan Squad. Find us over on Facebook. We're sharing recipes and giving encouragement it's a great place to learn how to eat vegan so come on over there and join us on that Facebook group please follow me on social media at vegan sexy cool or at Jackie Reed and that's j-a-c-q-u-e-r-e-i-d you can see how to spell it uh, down in the comments below or not in the comments just in the description below I'm all over the place <laughs> but hopefully you love this video and I hope to see you next time everybody bye <laughs>